Okay, today we're going to be building this little three-in-one soccer, basketball, uh, well I guess it's a two-in-one, but anyway, we're going to be building this uh, shoot, score, learn, basketball, soccer, kids toy, nice toy here. It does not come with the stickers on, but I already put them on, it's pretty self-explanatory, they're numbered, you can literally look at the picture of the box and it will give you the positioning of the stickers as you see here that one that one that one that one and those four there are all you need to put on yourself and these are the other parts that have come in the box here, little panda, and the backboard scoreboard with batteries not included, but that's where you put the double A's in, four double A's it takes. So, all right, now let's get started. Okay, first you're gonna take this guy here, this guy here, and, oh, sorry, wrong spot, this guy here. It's hard to do with one hand. You're gonna connect that inside. There's a little slot in there. And this actually slots in. And the best I can here. It's really difficult. I have to put it down for a second to do that. Okay, this piece actually slots into the back there, like so. Now I'll come over here to get your yellow legs they will each get slotted in here this one in here one-handed stuff is a little tricky need to get a camera stand <laughs> okay then we're going to next take the green legs go right and left put them in position and take this guy pop in there this guy pop in there next we will then take the net just go up the top here on the chair and this guy goes right into that there, right in those pins there. And on the back here, it also slots in pretty easily. And then we pop this piece in. One thing I noticed is we will need a screwdriver, a number two, or actually it might be a little smaller than a number two Phillips head screw. Maybe a number one tip if you know anything about tools. There's different size Phillips head tips. And then you're going to go ahead and put the screw in the hole and Tighten it down, which is very difficult to do with one hand. I think I'm getting threaded. Okay, got two of them in. Got the third one going for the fourth. And remember, folks, not to over tighten your screws when applying pressure. And you probably don't want to use a power tool to do this because it'll crack the plastic. Okay, so this is how far we've made it. Next, we take our scoreboard, as seen, and insert it into the slot here. Looks like you might have to back that thread out there. It actually slides out. Once that's in, then you go to the back and gently screw it in. Huh. Right, be 
peculiar. Okay, in. Also, I noticed this thing will just keep spinning. It is tight. You don't know. So at first, you might think it's going to spin and tighten, but it actually does not come completely tight. But it is working. And we are going to take our net here and insert like so. It has little slots there and then tabs there, which are located right there. Next is the trophy right here. It will take and it has a little groove that slots in right there. I'm just going to push it in once again. You need two hands to do this. Now that is it. Works like so. Let's so say you got your two little knobs here basketball and the football. It looks like they want you to put the basketball one up top, right there, and the soccer one at the bottom. Like that. I think that's just a toy for the kids to play with. It has no real function other than making a little bit of noise. Probably wouldn't get noticed unless you pointed out to your kids that that moves. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll use it, maybe they won't. All right, well, there you go. Now I will put the batteries in the back and we'll see what sounds they make. Also, I'd like to note that there's four extra screws that came with it. Don't leave them laying around because small children could get them. I'm sure you know that, you're all parents, but just so you're not looking around for where do these screws go? They actually, I don't believe they go anywhere unless they go under the bottom of this, which they could possibly be. Actually, I was mistaken. There they go right there. Under the bottom. So we'll go ahead and put them in. Alright, now that I got my four screws in the bottom. Actually, it did stiffen it up a little bit. It gave it some more stability. So, that's a good thing. Now for the batteries. Once again, you'll need your number two Phillips head screwdriver. Regular standard size to take this screw out. Also, it looks like you can use a slot flathead that has a slot for, which I don't know why they ever invented flatheads. They just don't make sense at all. They don't seem to really serve a point anymore. I guess it's a good option in case somebody strips out a screw. You can still get something in there, but I honestly uh, think it's a waste of time, and I was actually wrong. It's three AA batteries. My brother-in-law was nice enough to gift us batteries with the toy, which was nice because some people don't think about that. Kid wants to play with the toy and you're sometimes you run out of batteries and you, know, you gotta make a special trip to the store sometimes. Or sometimes you just gotta wait. So that's that. We got the on button there. Right there's the on button. Kick the ball in, that's a goal. I keep score there. Does a couple little different features. Alright, and that's it folks. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.